Several flashpoints across the world look especially perilous for the year ahead. Over rising tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Ethiopia's government appears to be offering an olive of the branch. Afghan government and the Taliban. Of worsening relations between the superpowers. Haiti's president. It's going ISIS. Down. Is it? Here are international crisis groups' 10 conflicts to watch in 2022. Whether Russia will invade Ukraine is unclear, but dismissing the threat as a bluff would be a mistake. An open conflict could have terrifying repercussions, potentially dragging in NATO members. In Ethiopia, fighting between Prime Minister Abiy's federal army and forces from the northern Tigray region is tearing the country apart. Neither side is likely to win this war. A peace process is not yet on the table, but diplomats should keep pushing for at least a temporary truce and get humanitarian aid into Tigray where the risk of famine is high. Humanitarian catastrophe is looming in Afghanistan. The UN estimates that 23 million people will suffer from hunger by spring. International donors who have cut off support after the Taliban's takeover should release money earmarked for Afghanistan, ease sanctions to allow in more aid and permit regular economic activity. A direct clash between the US and China is unlikely in the year ahead, but an escalation cannot be ruled out. Chinese and US planes and warships increasingly have close encounters around Taiwan and in the South China Sea, and risk an accidental clash that would ratchet up tensions. As for the US and Iran, if the Iranian nuclear deal collapses, there is a real danger of the US or Israel using military strikes to knock out Iranian nuclear facilities, with all the dangers that would entail a retaliatory cycle across the Levant. Yemen might have faded from international headlines, but the devastating war is poised to get worse. A new battle is brewing over the strategic city of Marib, encircled by the Houthi. A showdown in Marib would likely destroy the city, exact a heavy toll on civilians, and mark a new phase in the war. The Israeli-Palestinian peace process is long dead, and hopes of a two-state solution are fast dying. The new Israeli government, despite presenting a softer face to the outside world, has continued repressing Palestinians and advancing toward de facto annexation of the West Bank. 2021 stands out as particularly bleak for Haiti. The shocking assassination of President Moïse, a devastating earthquake, and violent gangs ever more entrenched now control much of Port-au-Prince. The priority is for political factions to agree on a transition plan. Donors could also consider a joint Haitian UN office tasked with prosecuting senior officials accused of serious crimes. The February 2021 military coup put an abrupt halt to a decade of reform in Myanmar. The economy is in freefall, and health and education systems have collapsed. The world's attention is waning despite the risk of a failed state at the heart of the Indo-Pacific region. In Africa, Islamist militants have extended their reach in the Sahel and taken hold on new fronts such as Mozambique or DRC. A rethink of Western-backed military operations to keep jihadists at bay is long overdue and should include the possibility of talks with some militant leaders. These are Crisis Group's 10 conflicts to watch in the year ahead. We will be making every effort to bring peace to these and many other crises worldwide.